So we all know and love the crested gecko, the Coralophus ciliatus, but this is a chahua, a mossy prehensile-tailed gecko. Now these two are different species of geckos in a different genus, but they could actually breed together and make a very special hybrid. And we're gonna talk about a little secret project that I have. This is my boy Trigger. This is a Chihuahua crested gecko hybrid. This, this animal displays qualities of both different species. What I like is that they get super orange red and he will actually fire up even brighter than this. Now there are like bands of green um, going across his body. Even when he fires down, you could see that a lot better. But the thing that I love about these geckos is their eyes. They get those Chihuahua eyes, which has all the reticulation and those solid veins that go through there. It's just a very unique looking animal. It has, you know, every characteristic that both have, the sticky toes, it has the little lamellae on the tail, and the prehensile tail from the Chihuahua. So it's a very, very different and just an absolute beauty of a gecko. It has a really solid orange belly. And the cool thing about this animal is that they are not sterile. Yeah, so I actually bred this guy here to a lily white crested gecko. And by the end of the video, I'm going to show you the results. So what I have in my hands right now is a slender prehensile tailed gecko. So this is a Coralophus saracenorum. It is a cousin of the crested gecko. And as you can see, these guys aren't as popular, but they're very, very beautiful. They have this white collar sometimes and these beautiful white dots all around them. They get a, a bad rep because they could be a little bit of a spaz, but they get a lot bigger than crested geckos and they have a huge long tail. They are beautiful and they could also be hybridized with the crested gecko. And this right here is a Saracenorum crested gecko hybrid. Now this one is more similar to a crested gecko. It actually kind of like, it's dead in the middle because they got this, they got the, the highlighting ar around their head just like a Saracenorum would, but they have no crests, but they have a little bit of their eyelashes still. So it's a very interesting gecko. The belly is very different than a regular crested or Saracenorum gecko. But if I didn't know any better, I would say this looks like a, you know, like a lower grade crested gecko without the crest, right? But it is a lot bigger. This tail is longer than a regular crested gecko. And you could just tell it's a hefty gecko. It's very strong and just definitely would smash right through a crested gecko. It's a big, big gecko. So these two little geckos are 75% crested gecko and 25% chihuahua gecko. If you were just to look at these guys, you would think they are just regular crested geckos. Of course, this one here is a lily white and this one is a regular, but they look exactly like a... Yeah, so they look exactly like crested geckos. So I was very, very surprised when I hatched these because I paired my hybrid to a lily white female and I thought I was gonna get some crazy combination of lily whites and crested geckos and chihuahuas, but I got regular looking crested geckos. I did think at first, I'm like, there's no way this is like right. I, I must have messed up. I must have, you know, put the eggs in a wrong container or something. But then we hatched another clutch from the same pair and they were identical. They were all looking like crested geckos. Some were lily whites. Actually, three of the ones that hatched are lily whites and only one is a normal. So this is really weird, really exciting. Of course, these are not animals I'm going to sell to anybody. I'm going to keep these kind of like for myself, just for like experiments and stuff. And I do plan on breeding my Saracenorum crested gecko hybrid and putting it together, you know, the offspring, putting them together with these and see what kind of mutated gecko I get. And this guy is a little feisty. But I, I thought this was really interesting. I know a lot of people are not gonna like the fact that I bred those two together, but at the end of the day, the animals are healthy and it's not like I'm gonna be selling these to the public. So I'm really excited to see what happens with these geckos, I think. I may hatch some like crazy looking geckos and maybe this is a key to producing an all leucistic animal if I breed hybrid crested gecko, like 75% crested gecko hybrid to another 75% crested gecko hybrid. Anyway, so I'm really excited. I hope you guys are too. If you want to keep updated with this project, make sure you subscribe because I will be posting about it in the near future.